Filipino class. And this time, we will learn about the tekstong pang-informasyon at aspekto ng pandiwa. So now, let us watch and learn. So now, our topic is all about tekstong pang-informasyon at aspekto ng pandiwa. So first, let us know about what is tekstong pang-informasyon. So, ito ay tekstong may nakapaloob na impormasyon patungkol sa mga bagay at paksang pinag-uusapan. Ito ay nagpapaliwanag ng malinaw at walang pagkiling ng mahalagang impormasyon o kaalaman. At isinasaad ang mga kabatiran ng naaayon sa mga tunay na pangyayari. So, it means that it is a text that contains information about the things and topics in question. And it explains clearly and impartially important information or knowledge. And also, it states knowledge in accordance with real events. So, now let us know about aspecto ng Pandiwa or aspects of verb. So first, let us learn what is naganap na or pang nagdaan. So, ang kilos ko galaw ay nagawa na, tapos na o nakalipas na. At ginagamitan ito ng mga panlaping na, nag, u, at, in. In other words, this is the past perfect tense. So it describes a completed activity in the past and it is used to emphasize that an action was completed before another action took place. So the examples of this one or halimbawa is the word inayos ko na ang mga gamit na dadalhin ko para bukas. So, as what you can see, the in is added to the word ayos. So, it means it is already, the action is already done. And next, tapos na akong kumain. So, the um is added to the word kain. And lastly, nagpunta ako sa simbahan. So the nag is added to the word punta. So it means the actions is already done. So next aspect is the nagaganap o pangkasalukuyan. Ang kilos o galaw ay kasalukuyang ginagawa, ginaganap o nangyayari. At ito ay ginagamitan ng mga panlaping na, nag, u, at, in. So it means it is the present perfect tense and it describes an action that began in the past. So despite being a present tense. And also, often, the action being described is still continuing into the present. So, examples of this one, or halimbawa, Ang sanggol ay natutulo. As what you can see, the action is still continuing to the, from the word natutulo. So, the na is added to the root word tulo. Next, natutunaw ang sorbetes na kinakain mo. So, the na is added to the root word tuna. And lastly, nag-aaral ako ng mabuti. So, the ma is added from the root word buti. So, next is the magaganap o panghinaharap. 
This is the future perfect tense. So, ang kilos ay hindi pa nagagawa, nagaganap o gagawin pa lamang. At ginagamitan ito ng mga panlaping ma at mag. So, a future perfect tense is used to describe an action that will have been completed at some point in the future. So, the future perfect tense is often used with a time expression that identifies a point in the future. So, examples or halimbawa of this one is Maglalaba ako mamaya pag uwi ko galing sa eskwelahan. So, as what you can see, the mag is added to the root word laba. So, it means that the action will be done later or in the future. Next, maliligo kami sa ilo. So, the ma is added to the root word ligo. And it means that this word signifies that this will be done in the future or later. And lastly, matutulog ako ng maaga mamayang gabi. So what you can see, the ma is added to the root word tulog. So it means that the person will, will sleep later. Because the matutulog means the action will be done later. So grade 4, you have learned about textong pang information. It means that it is a text that gives information about the given topic or subject. And also, you have learned the tatlong aspecto ng pandiwak which is the pang nagdaan, pang kasalukuyan, at pang hinahara. So I hope you learned a lot from this topic and that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!